Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. If you have not been following along, you could catch the past couple episodes to kind of see where we got. This is our gigantic zoo. It has a whopping six, five, five animals. We left watching our bear swim. And he went straight back into the water, so let's start by just taking a moment and watching him swim for a bit. Once again, hopefully he does not drown, because that would be sad. Alright, so we did a lot of work in his habitat, as you can see, which made me realize that I've done basically nothing to the yardbark's habitat. Which probably makes him a little sad. I also realized that I did not have the sign done for anything yet. I think I need to rotate it though, because I think... I thought I would be able to put some information on the bear to that, but I'm not seeing how I can. So, I think we're just going to mimic what we did for the aardvarks. And while we do that, let's... Alright, he's a grizzly bear. So let's make sure we can feed him. Because I don't think I actually have set up a food tray. So we're going to put his food way back here so that he does not have to see people. Because that is not what we would want to do. Is put him right up front and center and make everyone mad well everyone would be happy he would not let's be honest here oh he's not in his ideal temperature range what temperature does he need where do I find that Hmm. Not sure where I find that for him. Oh, we got some more research done here. And that takes me to getting him some research because he needs some enrichment but hopefully that means that we can have some enrichment for the aardvarks let's give him an ice ball Now they're just a little unhappy with the space, but I'm pretty close to the size they need. He wants, he wanted a hard shelter, that's right. So let's work on getting a hard shelter for him. All right, habitats, beds and shelters. Let's get rid of that. Species. Glad I got that back. Come down and find the grizzly bear here. 
All right. So I'm thinking of just going with not the biggest shelter I can find because that is gigantic. Wow. Um. All right. So I'm thinking maybe. Oh, that's where his food is. Alright, I'll have to move his food. Alright. <clears throat> move him somewhere in here. Alright, we're gonna pivot up. Scroll in. While I do this, I can see that this guy. I think that looks a little bit better. Not what I wanted. Here more. All right, I like that. Not what I wanted. And then we're gonna move this guy. Where is he getting at? That side. his food as well. We'll put his food over here. Well, let's put it up here. Alright, now let's see if he likes that hard shelter. Hey, he's happy with the hard shelter. He's not happy with the coverage though. So, I'm thinking we'll give him maybe a couple more plants. Not too many, because if we give him too many, then no one will be able to see him. And that isn't what we want. Alright. Let's do one more. Man, it's hard to place it in the dark. He's sleeping. Not sure what happened there. Alright, so the aardvarks now. Let's make sure they're happy. Well here, first of all, so he needs enrichment still. He could use a little bit bigger area. So he feels like it's too small. He's happy being alone. All right. I think we're doing good until we get some research done. I was hoping that was my research. My aardvarks. They want more short grass. I can do that. 
short grace. Done. And they want better hard shelter. So I think I actually maybe made them the wrong hard shelter. But there's one sleeping in it. So we're just going to let that be for now. Alright. But I do think that I'm going to place a donation bin in the wall. Inside, let's see. If anyone could get in there, they'd be talented. Alright, so I'm thinking maybe there. It's not in the way. But it's a good spot. And then we're actually going to We'll place that there too. And get some grizzly bears. So now they can watch about the grizzly bear, give a little money, see him walking around. All's good. Alright. I feel like we should find somewhere to place our giant tree that I bought that I didn't need. I also like how there is a path connecting those two. Completely useless. Can I put my tree on it? There you go. There's no tree on it. Why is it twitching? Moving on. Alright. They released a balloon. Ready for this? It's not going to go to the wild. Because I popped it. Ooh, can you? This is very mean of me. I can pop someone's balloon in their hand. Okay, no more of that. I don't need to make anyone mad. <laughs> That's okay. My balloons are a, uh, been researched. They're actually a biodegradable plastic balloon. So no worries. They are all safe. That's what I'm going to tell myself. Ooh. Nope. What's this? Low welfare? Why? The habitat? Temperature. It's too hot. Alright. Cooler. We don't need him dying on me. Is gigantic. How do you tell? Right, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna just place it right there. Now I gotta find it. Did I put it in the tree? All right, move it. While I am amazed at the ability of it to be in a tree, probably shouldn't be in a tree. Um, I don't think we want it that cold. I'm just gonna guess. Zero degrees C is pretty chilly. Bear, 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 bear. You can't click on him. He really likes the water. Well, he probably likes the water because he's so hot. That would make sense. Alright. So now he should be comfy in regardless of the weather outside the thing we should get some maybe an information shop what is he too cold now he's still too hot he's way over there I can't help that. But that is where I put, told him to sleep. Okay. That's kind of my fault. So we're going to move this. Maybe here? I'm confused. How big can this range? Does it show me? So 
So is the, I'm assuming this is the range that it's going to cool. So it, it cools most effectively here, less effectively out here. It doesn't cool at all in this corner. That's going to be the corner he's going to be laying in, complaining that it's too hot. If that happens, we're just going to call him Grandpa. That's going to be his new name. Alright, so... I'm trying to think... Of what do we want next? Or maybe what do we need next? Maybe we should get some food... For the people. So let's do a food shop. And we'll kind of use these to somewhat hide the. Ooh, how many people can I hire? I might be running out of people. I suppose I could go to the zoo for that. Research complete. Yippee. We're going to let them keep going on the bear. Conservation rating and marketing rating are two ways to improve. Can I? Is there any way to make them? I was wondering if you could make them have some advertisement type stuff on them. So this guy's only really seeable from one window. So it's this 3D face, every window but that window. So they can still see it, right? All right. And then we're gonna 3D face that one. Gotta click OK. All right. And this one, I think they want one, not one, two, and three. Oh, look at all of these. You can change the color. I don't really want to change. I do, but I don't. So, all right, perfect. All right, finding out how many people. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Trying to figure out how many people we have, so we can have Oh So there can only be four in there at one time resting. So I didn't need two of them. In that case. Why not? What's my vet doing? Oh, oh, he's researching, isn't he? Is that why he hasn't been there in a long time?
is Hayward. Schumacher, my vet. Yep. Hire another <laughs> vet. There. Now maybe my animals will be healthier. Because that's what we need. Can't run a zoo if no one comes and looks at the animals. Alright, anyway, back to... I wanted a drink shop. Merchandise. A shop shell. Is there not? What is that? I don't want that. Drink shop, there we go. So we're actually gonna... Get those as close as possible. And then... We can do a garbage bin. And a recycling bin. <gasps> a protester? What is he protesting? The protester is leaving the zoo. That's what he's protesting. He's protesting that he has to leave the zoo. I'm sorry, I can't build a hotel. All right, so I'm thinking. All right, I need to bulk select this guy. Come on. him over there. We're going to delete this path over here. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to get an info shop. Shops, bathrooms. Come over here. We're going to give the grizzly bear some entertainment. Oh, he, got, he has a lot of enrichment. A fire hose ball and a wheel roll feeder. All right, so we're going to give him the rolling feeder. And we'll throw a fire hose ball right there. We're gonna click on him. Alright, does he have any more? Toys? Okay, nope. No other toys yet, but that's fine. Is he having bad food? I don't know. Alright, who's being overworked? This vendor's being overworked. Alright, train him up. Same with this one. I hope that doesn't mean they go away. I should look. Do they go away if I train them? They do not. Perfect. Alright, I think... All right. 
Let's go with this guy here. Um, can we train him? Apparently he got a little too aggressive with his ball. And he broke the cage. Alright. This, so this is the guy that we have. We're going to do a wide hollow log for him. Make him a little happier. Alright. Anyway. On to the next animal. What will it be? Nothing. I have an idea of what I want to do right here. But I don't know how big it's going to be. And I don't know if I can fit like a bird cage in front of it or not. I'm not sure. But I'm thinking maybe we'll get some antelope. We'll get a couple of them. Right. The species. Filter? I can't filter. Can I search? I can't search. So, we'll go the long way. I just want one male pronghorn. But I'm in the A's. There's got to be a way to... Oh, hey, filter. Shh. You didn't see that. All right, I'm thinking we should do some lighted paths. Just got to find out where they are. Bet they're under lights. I feel like I have a filter on here, but I don't. Hmm. I don't know why I can't build anything in the construction area anymore. That's odd. 
All right. No lights then. They're all getting ready to get released. Get some rewards there. All right. So I'm thinking. Think as the rain falls, we will call it a day today. Next time we will figure out where where we are going to build the pronghorn area. But for now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button to let me know. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Alright, as the rain falls, we'll just slowly fade away.